Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A flexible suspension cable of weight 0.75 Newton per meter hangs between two vertical walls 60 meter apart. The left hand end being attached to the wall at a point 10 meter below the right hand end. It is the point, it is 10 meter below from the right hand end. A concentrated load of 100 Newton is attached to the cable in such a manner that the point of attachment of the load is 20 meter horizontally from the left hand wall and it is 5 meter below the left hand support. Show that the maximum resultant cable tension is at the right hand end and find its value. The cable weight may be taken as uniformly distributed horizontally. Let us take a moment about the point B. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 60. So 60 BA. The horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For the horizontal thrust, the perpendicular distance is 10, so plus 10 H. The weight of the cable, that is the uniformly distributed load, is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2. The point load 100 is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative, and the distance is 40. We can take these two terms on the other side and we can add them. We will get 5350. Let us take 10H on the other side. So it will come as negative. And then let us take 60 on the other side. Let us keep this expression as number 1. We know that in the point C also there will be no movement. Let us take a moment about C. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 20, so 20 VA. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 20. After multiplying these three, we will get minus 150. Let us take that on the other side so that it will become positive. For VA, we can apply this which we got from the equation number 1. 320 are 60. For these two terms, we can take LCM. 3 into minus 5H, we will get minus 15H. We can take 3 on the other side. 150 into 3, we will get 450. Minus 10H minus 15H we will get minus 25H. Finally for H we will get 196 Newton. Using this equation we can find VA which is 56.5 Newton. We have calculated the horizontal thrust H and the vertical reaction VA. Now let us find the vertical reaction VB. For that we have to subtract VA. By the total load, when we do that, we will get 88.5 Newton. Since VB is greater than VA, the tension in B will be more than tension in A. We know that the point B is located on the right end. So the tension will be maximum in the right end. This is what we have been asked in the question to prove. Now we have proved that. Now let us find the tension in the point B. The formula is root of VB square plus H square. Let us apply both of them. Finally we will get 215.05 Newton. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.